Good morning everybody. Just leaving Birch Spring Cap Campground and head up the trail to probably about two or three shelters along today. Not really sure where I'll get, depends on the train. Um, some other guys this morning were saying they also saw two bears yesterday. So kind of hoping get to see some more, but from a distance and definitely without some cubs. So we'll see what happens. Beautiful sunny day. Leave the smokies. So it's supposed to be, I think, about in the 80s, I keep hearing, but I don't actually know what that is in Celsius. I'm guessing mid to high 20s. Um, another guy was saying he hopes he gets through without seeing snow. Well, so am I, because I certainly wasn't expecting the forecast to have said snow. Well, the forecast hasn't said snow. Um, but we'll see, apparently, the weather changes quite quickly up here. Um, and the other cool thing today is that apparently go past the Tennessee border. But through the Smokies, you straddle the border of North Carolina and Tennessee for most of the way. And there's a carpet of flowers through this little bit. It's really pretty. Back in the jungly bit. Can't wait to see these flower. And there's a deer just jumped out in front of me. See ya. Time to get some water in this little creek. I can't believe that deer just jumped right out in front of me. Just walking into Molly's Ridge Shelter. Looks like a good spot to stop for lunch. Wow, it's made of stone. That's cool. I was obviously wrong about the one in Blood Mountain being the only one made of stone. It says on the Far Out app though that there's been lots of bear activity here. Looks like a bit of few in there. Fire. Oh, yeah. I like this idea that they've got in the shelter where they've got battens to Looks like to separate the different sleeping areas. Now switch back. I'm up there. Makes such a difference. And so the trail is making a grand old sweep down there. And I'm guessing that means I'll be going back up again. So these are the times you're wishing somebody would just walk past to pull you up. Just about went for a roll down there. I've just unclipped my pack, but I can't be bothered moving. Just glad I didn't roll down the hill. Just went for a little tumble on that rock there. But just working out how to get myself back up. Managed to get myself back on the track. Just gotta pull my pack up now.
Wow. It's like less than probably 300 meters later. I've fallen over again. This time I've tripped over a tree root. Feeling all right, but I think I um, must be pretty tired because um, I've been watching the trail closely and yeah, still tripping. So I'm assuming it's because I'm feeling quite, quite tired. Didn't really sleep all that well last night. Um, the campsite was on a bit of a slope again, so I had trouble sort of staying in one place. Anyway, I think once I get to the next shelter, which is in two kilometres, might stop for a bit of a longer break, have some Gatorade, and then um, push on for the last six k's for the day. So I've recovered from my little fall. It's not the shelter, but I've just come across this tree. It looks like it's got an eye there, a nose, and a mouth. Nice that tree. I look like some big hills ahead. Definitely not going to walk the 6.3 onto Derek Knob Shelter. I'm going to F Spencefield Shelter. Yeah, it's 3.30 and don't think I've got it in me to do another <laughs> three hours. So we'll go up here and spend the night. And here's Spencefield Shelter. I'm really hoping I would never be a shelter so I can just sleep in my tent. So this is my tent site tonight. Really thrilled to hear that because COVID's still lingering around that you don't actually have to stay in the shelters in the Smokies um, so to preserve social distancing. Although I'm expecting that that spot just behind the tree and maybe down here will fill up later. But in the meantime, it's beautiful. It's got a nice view and finished nice and early for today which is great so a bit of time to do my video editing and get an early night. <laughs>